team power users. Write a query to identify the top two power users who sent the highest number of messages. Looks like they're defining power user as someone who messages on MS Teams. Has a max, I'm going to say max messages on Teams. Or we could sort by descending where the most messages are on top and the least go down to the bottom. Display their IDs, so we need IDs, along with the total number of messages. Okay, so it's probably a message count of some sort. Um, I'll put the results in descending order. Okay, sweet. Telepathy, I, I already knew they needed in descending order based on the count of messages. Okay, so the schema has message ID, send ID, receiver ID, content, send date. Here's what that example looks like. And the output is like this. All right, let's go ahead and preview their um, pre-generated table, their code. I'm trying to look for duplicates. Okay, no, that's nine, eight, nine, eight, and eight, eight, eight. Oh, of course, each message is gonna have a different ID. I need to look at sender ID columns, see if I can find duplicates, okay. 3601, one, two, three, four, Okay, just in this dummy table, 3601 wins with the most messages at four. So, got it. Then let's go up here and say select sender ID, comma, count of message ID. So we're gonna aggregate how many messages there are by the do from down here as they call a message count. So we're going to call it the same message count. Ooh. Message count. Messages. We're going to need to do some group buys. Uh, group by sender ID. Because we need to, um, I think, oh wait. Yeah, let's group it by sender ID. I just want to see what it looks like as of right now. Oh, dang. Message. I didn't spell message ID right. Message. There we go. Right now, 2520 wins with, oh wait, uh, order by. Order by or sort by? Order by. Order by message count descending. Okay, 3601 wins with five. That, that checks out with my um, previous assumption while looking at the dummy table. But on the left hand side, they don't have these two, which could be okay because this might not be the full 
output. Um, let me let's see. We have mm, we can't do max because the columns they're not like oh this person it doesn't tell you they posted ten they sent ten times or whatnot. You actually have to do the aggregation yourself, which is why we use count instead of max. Um, okay, so we have the ID, sender ID, we have message count, we have in descending order. Anything else I'm missing? Displayed IDs. Total number of messages they sent out, put the result in descending order. Assumption, no two users have sent the same number of messages in August 2022. These are all August post. Mm. In August point. Yeah, let me go ahead and add a date filter because while this preview looks like it only contains August data, it could be more. Um, let's just say, let's add a where. Where comes right after from, I believe. Select from, where, group by, order by. That sounds about right. Where. Um, sent. Date. I'm going to just hard code it. Is between. August. Oh, eight. Oh, wait, wait. We're doing year, year, year. Month, month, day, day. 2020. Two dash o eight dash o one. I'm gonna look how many days there are in August thirty first. Okay, between this and twenty twenty two oh eight thirty one. Let's see if my output changes at all because then they'll let me know okay so instead of four rows it's three rows so i guess i'm glad i added the filter because it could be that previously the other row might have been outside of august and here they say in august 2022 i'm just gonna submit and see if they like it oh no your queries output doesn't match with the solutions output or three. You know what? It's because I have one extra row. I'm going to do a cheat and I'm going to say limit two. Limit. So what it's going to do is it's only going to pull the top two. And then it's going to match exactly how they want. See? 30601 with four counts, 2520 with three counts. I'm going to submit. Yay, congrats, thank you, okay.